Okay, so in many ways, the the process of coming up with story ideas is actually the hardest part for us, um, because I mean, story ideas really lay the foundation for what the story is going to be about, and um, it like our inspiration can, can come from like all different types of sources. Uh, sometimes we'll go online, um, look at different like blogs um, for ideas. Um, sometimes a really good resource might just be like the Mercury News or like the New York Times, like seeing what they do and then seeing what we can take from their stories and localizing them to issues at SHS um, is really a big part in our story making process. Um, another big part um, that really helps us is when our stories are like writer sourced. So a lot of times like kids from the kids in the period will come up with like great ideas that we don't think of and uh, we incorporate those into our ideas. Um, I think what makes a good story are the stories that go beyond just the facts and they talk about a little bit more. You find out a lot more about the students at our school and the teachers at our school, or even things that happen outside of school that are related to all of us. So they should go beyond the facts and basically maybe take an interesting angle to something that happens all the time. So an event you want to talk about what went into that event or maybe difficulties that happened at a, that event, not just what happened. or simple facts about the event. <laughs> um, basically, I look at the stories that I've, I've uh, signed and then I see like how long they are and uh, like, how they fit together and then I try to try just fit them together with like graphics and other stuff and uh, like yeah that's basically it.